What's up you guys and welcome to the next episode of Super Mario Galaxy on RT Online. In the la oh wow, okay, I wanted to do that successfully. In the last episode, we got things started in World 2. Let's see what awaits us in World 2. Oh yeah, we did Puzzle Plank Galaxy. We didn't break that starboard container. Yeah, Puzzle Plank Galaxy is pretty fun. We fought a giant beetle. And then we went to Boulder Bowl Galaxy. Where we got the new Spin Dash for Mario. Well, it wasn't really a Spin Dash. Oh, yeah, we went to Hytale Falls as well. And we got a new power-up as Yoshi. Yeah, he eats a pepper and he goes really fast. He can defy gravity pretty easily. Uh, I want to see if we have enough for the... No, we don't have enough for the Hungry Luma. Let's go to... Cosmic Cove. It looks like a water level, but the other one looked like a flying level, which I'm not too pumped about. Twin Falls Hideaway. The reason I'm not too pumped about the bird one is that I've heard of things about a bird in this game, but I've never done it, so I don't want to do it just yet, even though I'll have to sometime. Whoa. I have a feeling something's going to happen. And the music is really peaceful, too. Excitement has reached its peak. <gasps> the penguins are back. Sup, guys? I haven't seen you in a year. Oh, hey there. Everyone is all doing their swimming drills right now. <laughs> That's a weird voice for penguins. Oh yeah, and if you have a shell, you can do some awesome stuff with it, like swim faster for some reason. The buoyancy. I think that's how it works. Oh man, it, it's may, it may be also on the Wii, but the graphics are such an improvement. I don't know if it's just me, I feel like they have improved so much. Looks like if we shine our light at those guys, they go away. And the light that you carry when you have the shell. There's no other light that you can get, I think. Maybe from a red shell. Can we break that box? Let's see. Break it! Nope, just star bits. Well, it's good to keep the screen... Uh, the cursor at the screen. Maybe we could have gotten the shell back there, but I decided not to because I'm lazy. I want to keep moving forward for this channel. Only quality content here. How did I not get hit by that spiny... Whatever. And that's not a spiny, it was like a spiny fish. You can't really spin as fast in this game. I think it's more required to have a shell in this one. In Mario Galaxy 1, you could just spam the spin underwater, but in this one, there's a delay. Which makes sense, because there's a delay in the surface as well. Like, it makes no sense why the Luma could just suddenly go spastic when he's underwater. Maybe because he can't breathe and we're suffocating him and he wants our help. It's kind of morbid. Let's ground pound this mo thing. And we froze the ice! No need for an ice flower now. I know how to ice skate. You spin the Wii Remote! Like that. And you can do a little ballerina twirl. Even a triple jump! I didn't know you could do a triple jump. That's fun. <gasps> the old penguin's back! Oh, that's wonderful there. I hear the one responsible for freezing it. You have much faith in your wall jump technique, eh? Oh yeah? I totally have faith in my wall jump technique. I'm gonna do it on this waterfall. Check it! Whee! Totally confident in my skills. And that's that. I think that was just introducing a mechanic for a galaxy that we'll revisit eventually. I don't think I'll get all the stars in the single playthrough. But, you know, as we go, I'll get as many stars as I can. And if I don't go back, I don't go back. But if you really think I should go back because I'm missing out, then tell me to go back. Oh yeah, and we got a star. <laughs> I didn't do the jingle that time. I can't do it every time, you guys. Cut me some freaking slack. Because I got the 13th power star. Sorry for the size right there. I was taking a sip of my drink. Yeah, I drink. I'm a normal person. I'm not. It's not beer. It's soda. That toad came back with you, right? He sure loves delivering mail. I don't think he came back with us. Go ahead and humor him. Maybe he's got something for you. The game has been saved. What's up, purple dude? Hey, Mario! I decided to start delivering mail, and my first letter is for you. Mario. Mario, I am very far away right now, but I'm okay. I know you will come and save me. P.S. I've attached something to this letter. I hope it will be useful. Go back. Princess Peach included a one-up mushroom in her letter. Aw, even when she's kidnapped, the princess is so thoughtful. Well, come see me next time when there's a mail delivery. Only one this time? She used to give up. She used to give me five ups. Now only one up? That's not good. Ooh, we need to go back a lot more. 
So then I guess we're gonna have to go to Wild Glide. We don't have to, but it's one of the open ones right now. Might as well give you guys something new. Fluzzard's first flight, Wild Glide Galaxy. We have five Marios to do this atrocity. Whoa, but I do like the scenery. And I do like those big-headed birds down there. This uh, wow, they really, really made a ton of new environments for this game. I, I like how they, how dedicated they were to making this game feel different from the first one. Uh, talk. Flazard, Flazard, he can fly well, and he's shy, so shy. But he seems okay with you. Maybe he'll even carry you and glide. Come on, come on, I'll teach you to glide. Will you fly with Flazard? Let's glide. Glide, we glide. Okay, okay, here's how you glide. Okay, now we'll keep it flat. Flat! Yeah, that's like starting position. To turn left at the starting position, just tilt to the left. Tilt! Oh, it's a lot like the loft wing in Skyward Sword. Yay! Yeah, yeah, turn, turn! Don't tell they point down to do a nose dive. It looks like we're already doing a nosedive. Jeez. I'm so down to point it up! Up! If you're going through the big sun circle at the end of the forest, you win! Win! But I won't be easy. Three, two, one. Blast off! Kind of. Okay, loft wing controls, I guess. Remember to keep it flat. And I don't think we hit the balloons. I'm gonna do it just in case we need to. Nose dive! Whoa! It is like the loft wing. I guess I got training for this awful part. At least what people have told me. But you can't flap upwards like this loft wing. That makes me sad. Now I miss Skyward Sword. Go. Nice! Nose dive! This reminds me a bit of the wing cap from Mario 64. I don't know why, but there's not really momentum-based flying here. Ow! Holy crap, you don't want to hit anything ever! Wait, does that give us air? Oh, it just gives us star bits. That's pretty neat. Oh, do we want to beat the best time? Look at the bottom, it says 130. Okay, well, I'll do my best. Here I go, I am Cinnamon! There's the Shine Gate. Oh yeah, we definitely beat that time. Uh... Aw, oh, we didn't get all the star bits. Da -da 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 -da. That wasn't too bad. I think people were over-exaggerating. Maybe we'll revisit it and it'll get worse. Yeah, Fluzzard is happy. Thanks for the power star, little bird. I didn't want to read his dialogue. His voice kind of hurts my throat. Crisp, clean, and refreshing. 100% natural flavors of a power star. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, we got a star. I was reading the label of a 7-Up can before I got that Power Star. Man, 7-Up. Not sponsored for RT Online. Da -da 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 -da. I think that was a single star galaxy. Kind of like the Manta Ray one. Is that it now? Oh wait, we need, we need a bit. We need more. Backflip! Nice! I did it again. Okay, let's see. We have 14 stars and we need two more. So I say, well wait, it's a question mark, which means we might need a comet for that one. I don't think we got the comet coin there. Boulder Bowl Galaxy only has one star. Puzzle Plank has two, but I got the comet coin. Maybe if I go in the galaxy, then the comet will appear? Let me see. I can only be so sure. Question mark? Is that a, it's a hidden star, right? Well, you know what? I'm going to find out. Hidden star. No, that's not the hidden part. We've already done that. So maybe we could try going to another path? Hmm. Let's see. Not this way. Let's go down like that. Great job. Now this. Good job. You got the wiggler down. Okay, I think it was the bottom right one that we get. Let's, uh, let's go to it. Yeah. I'm gonna try and find an alternate route, but if I can't, then it was just a waste of time. Uh, I think I can make that jump from here. 
All right, let's just let's get a triple jump. Wait, no, 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 not that. Was it a triple jump? Okay, so one, two, three. Haha! <laughs> what a cheat! Okay, now that if you guys want to fucking speed run this level, go for it because that was simple. Just a triple jump and you're good. You'll get the timing down if you play Mario enough. The triple. Triple jump is basically second nature to me, since I've played Mario games basically my whole life. <laughs> Mario has been a part of my life for so long. My first video game ever had him in it, so if that doesn't say anything about my my relationship with Mario, I don't think anything does. Go, 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 go. It's strictly professional, and sometimes unprofessional, depending on the game. And look, it looks like there's an alternate thing over shit. No, I'm gonna fall! Go, Mario. Go. That mini launch star takes us there, and that's where we fight the boss. So I think I missed the hidden star somewhere. Can we, um, can we return to map? I want to try one more thing. There was something in the beginning of the level that I missed out on. So, Puzzle Plank Galaxy. Whee! Unless that hidden star is actually the comet. How do you make the comets appear? If it's a spoiler, then don't tell me, but if I can make it happen right now, tell me, because this game didn't really tell me. Uh, okay, so th these things right here. Looks like we can ground pound into that. Oh, no, it's just this thing. Oh, whoa, look! The hidden coin block! Starbit block. And this is all on the same side. What about this one? Is that a hidden star? Nope, more Starbits. Let's see... We can go upside down here. Nothing suspicious. Okay, well now that we've looked in that area, let's look around even more. Hmm, maybe there's a hundred coin star, hundred star bit star, star star. Oh, we could just ground pound on them right away. Although I feel more guilty doing that. Having flipping them over doesn't give you eye contact with the enemy before you murder them. Hmm, curious. Let's go on this other side. Maybe if we go into the pipe again? Uh-huh. What do the, the coin star lumas just give us coins, right? Or am I missing the point? Well, if, if we need coins to get coins, then I'm going to get all these coins. Coins, coins. Don't run out of time on me, you game. Maybe the luma gives us a power star if we have enough coins? Oh, that'd be brilliant, because then I could go back to the places where I've seen him before. Extra guy! Okay, I got 48 coins. And I'm gonna get 50 to round it out. Ow. No, run away from the buzzsaw! Okay, what do you have for me? I'm so hungry, will you give me 70 coins? Uh, I only have 50. I'll be back, dude. Alright, 70 coins? No problem. Uh-huh. That's 52. Ooh, yeah, more coins. Maybe I missed the coins from getting that not getting the wigglers. Can I go back in there and farm coins? Let's see. Cause if I had to kill those wigglers to get the coins and yeah, there's no other coin here. Okay, so I gotta go back and get the wigglers. So I'm gonna return to the map one more time and actually try and do this. So if you ground pound on them, it doesn't give you star bits, or do they always give you star bits? Hmm. I don't remember if I got coins from the Wigglers. I'm really at a loss, you guys. How to get coins from Wigglers, RT Online. Alright, go on to this one as soon as I can. So they're not hidden stars like Mario Sunshine where you have to do something absurd. Okay, now he's angry, and I got star bits. So maybe... maybe this? and then jump on it. And that still gives me star bits. So where can I get coins? These things give me star bits too. Let's try them all out. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, whoa! This might give me coins! That <laughs> one went really fast. Ah, just extra guys. Not that I need that. Aha! More! Give me... Okay, that's five. Not even close to 70. 
Maybe can we do tricks in this thing? Maybe if so, blast away. And that was a Starvik block right there, right? I think it was. Yeah, it was. I remember. And that is nine. We still don't have enough. Oh! Oh! You tricky rascal! And then this? Oh, that gives me Starbits. Well, I'm getting Starbits for that Hungry Luma now. And you, you wait here. I'm gonna go into that pipe and get you more coins, buddy. Eating coins is not good for your health. I should know. I am a doctor sometimes. Uh, Mario. Dr. Mario is a reference. You may not get it. Coins. I'm gonna stuff this guy's face with coins. It sounds like really bad torture because he enjoys it. Is that sadism or mac masochism if you enjoy the pain yourself? Is being a sadist enjoying others' pain? And is being a masochist enjoying your pain? I might be getting that wrong, but I don't care. Do I have 70 yet? Nope. Then let's kill the Octorox. Ah! Nope. Yay! Yay! Gimme! Ah, 67? Are there more enemies? Over here? Oh, no! Wait, coins right here! Yes! Ah, oh, Starbits! You better give me coins. Wow, they give you the right amount. Plus two. <laughs> Where are you at, bro? I'm gonna give you your coins so you can digest that later. I'm so hungry. They give me 70 coins. They are so yummy. Yes, I've got a coin craving right now. Ew. Ew, he's so rich with flavor. I'm so full, I think I'm going to transform! I'm so glad I can overshadow that bad joke I just made. Holy crap! He's a throwback galaxy. It looks like that autumn galaxy in Mario Galaxy 1. What was it? A gold leaf galaxy? Ooh, there's the cloud power up too. Nice. Ah, and now we refill. Yay. Uh, one. And a two. Good job, Mario. Oh, it's the same boss fight from Honey Hive Galaxy. What a throwback indeed. And you're going down. Remember, I can't go in water as the cloud, Mario. Just a tip of advice. And do the clouds disappear after time, or do they just stay there? Yep, they disappear. <laughs> My question was answered right away. Oh, I'm out of clouds. Ah, oh, shit. Get the clouds, Mario. He's pooping. He's pooping. Go. Are we going overtime right now? Uh, yeah. Ground pound. Okay, we only need the clouds to stall in the air. I ain't no Stalin. I'm an Italian. <laughs> oh, whoa, look at that. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I won't need a spring. Uh, ow! You sucker. Um, no! Where are you? Yes! You're dead! <laughs> Dude, that was... Aw, oh, man. I'm already getting enough nostalgia as it is for this playthrough. Now nah, I really miss Mario Galaxy 1. But we're playing its sequel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're playing Galaxy 2. <laughs> I gotta stop changing up my jingles. They never go with the rhythm. How many stars did we get this episode? We spent a lot of time in that one with the Wigglers. Galaxy completed. That was a hidden star. I'm so happy. I only got two coins from that. Mario, I have a letter for you. Hey, remember me? I got a new game over in the Fluffy Buff Galaxy. Come on by and we'll do the whole introductions thing. I want to see what kind of game skills you got. The chimp. Oh yeah, I had a voice for him. I don't remember the voice. Come see me next time. There's a mail delivery. Looks like I got to review that episode where he appeared in. Which episode was it? I don't remember. Well, you guys, if it didn't save, I'll just save and quit. So I hope you had a good time on ride time. I will see you all next time.